Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the effects of pre-ignition and post-ignition and what are they mean. Do you know to produce the main best torque from a particular engine, we have to generate the spark at an optimum time to generate the maximum power from an engine. If you are considering a spark ignition engine, there will be a lag when we produce the spark and when the combustion got initiated and the lag is called as ignition lag. If you want to know more about it, check my video about spark advance. I will leave the link in the description below. This time, particularly the ignition lag will be constant in all the rev ranges of the engine. So for producing the maximum pressure at the end of the combustion stroke, we have to produce the spark earlier than TDC or top dead center. So this phenomenon is called spark advance and with respect to the RPM change of the engine we have to change the time when the spark is initiated to generate the combustion or to generate the pressure inside the combustion chamber at the time of power stroke. If the spark production happened before the optimum time to generate the mean burst stroke, it is called as pre-ignition. So the spark generator will be before the top dead center and it will be earlier. And if we lag behind this uh, spark production or the spark happen after the optimum level, it will be called as post ignition. So this is the difference between pre ignition and post ignition. So now let's have a look at the effects of these two. Think about an event of pre ignition. If the pre ignition is occurring, uh, the spark production will be earlier than usual and it will lead to a higher pressure rise. We know there will be a peak pressure rise during the power stroke. This pressure rise will be earlier than usual. A, an earlier pressure production will lead to a force that is pushing the piston down than the direction the piston intend to travel. You must be thinking that we must need a force that is pushing the piston down. But here in this pre-ignition event, the pressure rise will happen somewhere in the compression stroke. The piston is traveling from BDC to TDC. So the force will be pushing the piston to get down from TDC to BDC at the time of compression stroke. So here the piston is getting a back pressure that is reducing the performance and power production of the engine. Now let's talk about post ignition. As I said already, in post ignition, the spark will produce somewhere lately. So the late spark ignition will lead to late combustion initiative. The combustion will start somewhere lately. So this will lead to a pressure rise that is happening somewhere at the end of power stroke. So we are not able to recover all the power that is generated uh, during the uh, combustion process or the pressure rise so the, we cannot uh, be able to convert all this heat energy to do work energy but compared to pre-ignition post ignition have some better advantage and applications we know that our emission norms are getting stricter and we are trying to make our engine more eco-friendly and more environmental friendly for that we are making the emissions more controllable and we are trying to reduce the emission from our exhaust. Do you know the cal converter that is used in our internal combustion engines will need to achieve an operating temperature for getting the maximum conversion efficiency to convert all the hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide into water and carbon dioxide and to convert NOx into nitrogen and oxygen. Think about the engine warm up period. The engine is only attaining its operating temperature so the exhaust gases will be at a lower temperature so the conversion efficiency of the catalytic converter will be less and the catalytic converter will not be able to convert all the pollutant matters into desirable matters or the matters that is intended to convert. The same thing is true for lambda sensors also. The lambda sensors also need to achieve an operating temperature for making a signal to the ECU that uh, at what kind of mixture the engine is running whether it is in rich mixture or it is in lean mixture so the ECU can modify the fuel injection quantity. So only when the operating temperature is achieved by the lambda sensor the electronic fuel injection system will be working in a closed loop operation. Until the operating temperature is achieved it will be in an open loop operation because we are not getting a signal from the lambda sensor for altering the fuel injection quantity in the engine. 
and finally for diesel particular filter we know after a long period the diesel particular filter will be accumulated with the particular matter and to reduce the back pressure in the exhaust side we have to burn off this particular matter into small particles and for burning it off we need a high temperature exhaust for all this we need to achieve the conversion efficiency of the cal converter and we need to improve the uh, lambda sensor temperature for making a better strength signal from lambda sensor and to burn off this particular matter from diesel particular filter we need a high heat exhaust gas and to maintain this high temperature in the exhaust gas we can make uh, this by using post ignition strategy by using post ignition the combustion will lag behind or the combustion stroke so the combustion will continue even after exhaust stroke the exhaust gas will be at a very high temperature and it will helps to uh, make the higher conversion efficiency of the cal converter to make better uh, operating temperature of lambda sensor and to burn off uh, the particular matter from dpf the post ignition strategy is also used in diesel particular filter forced regeneration process actually by doing forced regeneration uh, we are producing a post ignition strategy for increasing the temperature of the exhaust gas to burn off the particular matter from dpf so these are the application of post ignition strategy so if you learn something new in this video please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when i make a new upload thank you for watching have a nice day and bye